Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you three techniques on how to change colors on your circular knitting machine and how to knit jobless stripes in the round. So these are the three techniques and this uh, is the last method that I will be showing you. The color change was made here and you almost don't see it. And again, here is the color change. So let's get started with method number one. If you have, this is the method number one. If you have just one color change, you can make the change by placing the new color in the same place where you finish the old color. Both tails will have the same, will hang in the same place. And this is how it will look. So just, this is just, if you have just one color change, you can do this one, the easiest method that I'll be showing you now first. So I have knitted six rounds and now I will be knitting one more round. And I want to do the color change. So stop before this is my first needle. Cut the yarn. Place it in the back, take the new color and place it in the same place with the old one. Hold both tails and knit. So I have both tails in the same place and you just knit you have to knit slowly to make sure that your stitches are down especially the last and the first one and just pull the tails a little I made three rounds. I will do again a color change. Let's use yellow. So again, I want to do the color change all the time doing the same place. So before the first needle, I cut it the old yarn, place it in the back, take the new one. It's in the same place. Knit slowly to make sure that the yarn is under the hook. Go slowly, make sure that the yarn is down. So this is how it looks after we take it from the machine, turn it inside out and first just pull the tails so you can make a knot. I like to check the work in front to see if I have the same, uh, you can stretch it before. the stitches to be the same size. So, and then just make, I do three knots. Do the same for all. So this is the back. And the front. So you can see where is the color change. Technique number two. 
This one I don't use it anymore due to the fact that the knot is visible when the hat is worn. So when you stretch it, for me I can see the knot here when you stretch it. But I will show you how I used to do this one. So one more row round. Cut the yarn. Take the new one. So with the other method we changed here in the same place. With this one I placed the new yard yarn before the first needle but the old yarn place it under the hook. So now I have both yarns under the hook. So before the needle number, number one. And then knit both of them together. Again, make sure that the stitch is done. So one more time. I take the old yarn. I place it here. This is the first needle. So I take the new one. And place it under the first needle. Both yarns. I'll finish with the other color and I'll be back. This is how it looks after I took it from the machine. And now you have to tie the tails together. So same like last time, I check in the front and then I tie them. Do the same with all. So this is the inside. So this is how it looks. Okay, let's do method number three. Next method, it's jugless stripes in the round or slip stitch method. This is, is what I am using when I'm knitting with more colors, like I'll show you at the beginning. This is the color change. Okay. So in the next round, I want to do the color change. For jugless knitting, you have to change the step, first step is like method number one. Cut the yarn. Place it before the first needle. Take the new yarn. Place it in the same place. And knit the first round slowly because you, we have to stop here again. Make sure you stop before. Okay. This yarn we have to put it in the back. This is the slip stitch method. Okay. And now the hook doesn't have a yarn. We need to have a yarn here. So you take this one a little further and put it under the hook to be knitted. Tight the yarn 
make sure it's under this one it's here and now this one so it doesn't float in the back you have to tighten the yarn again for the copper for two or three stitches And then knit normally. Okay, let's do another color change. Cut the yarn. Place it in the back. Take the new one in the same place. Place them both tails in the same place. Knit slowly. Stop before the first needle because here we have to take the yarn, place it in the back and take this one. I like to take the tail and help out. Pull the yarn. After it's down, you can let this one and tighten this one. Pull the yarn. So keep tension for the first needles and then just knit normal. So this is how it looks. You have to pull the tights to make the stitches the same size. So check your work in the front before you tie. You ha will have this loop like this. This is okay. This is the slip stitch that we made. Okay. okay. So this is the back. Look. almost don't see the beginning and the end this is where we we made the color change so I have used this method for this hat so this is jugless this is the second one and the first one Choose the one that you like the most. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.